Hello and welcome to this screencast about Groovy, a short, very short introduction. Groovy can be downloaded from uh, groovy.codehouse.org. Here, its uh, latest version is 1.7.5. Once you have downloaded it, you can open the terminal and start the tool that's called the Groovy console. And it pops up this where you have two areas, one where you enter code here and when one where you get the result back there. So today I'd like to uh, manipulate a string and uh, count the words in that string. So I can go that sometimes equals this is my first really String. I can also use the string type. I can also add semitones. So I can type perfectly legal Java here. It's uh, Ruby understands Java. It's a superset, but it also makes it more readable by eliminating, for example, semicolon. They're optional, and also using dot typing, dynamic typing. You can if the type is not really important, um, it makes it easier to read here. So I'll extract the words from this sentence. I'll use a convenient method that Groovy adds on the string method, which is split. By default, it uh, uses spaces. For each of these words, that's a spread operator. Split returns a string of an array of strings. I will call a method and I will create a new list with the results. And then I'll sort this. So I'm using method chaining, which is very common, a common practice in Ruby. Now I only want the words that are. longer than three characters. So I'll use final and final is method that has an argument, a single argument, which is a closure. <coughs> By default, a closure uses it as an argument. And then I'll go system out um, is optional, I'll print that. And this is it. So it sorted the words, put them in lowercase, and removed the words that were less than three characters long. And now what I the keyword I, I love in Ruby is the assert keyword. It's a power assert. We'll see why we call it Power assert. I'll check that the first word is groovy. What does it tell me? It tells me mm, mm, I have this longer word here which contains first groovy string list. The first word is first, and you compare it in with groovy. It's And that's it. I think uh, it concludes my very, very short introduction to Groovy. Thank you.